Hey, Manufacturing World. Welcome to another episode of Shop Matters, hosted by Akuma America. I'm your host, Wade Anderson, and today joining me in the studio in a rainy uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, is Michelle Edmondson with AMT. Welcome, Michelle. Good morning, Wade. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I appreciate you joining us. So, I guess to start with, tell us a little bit about AMT and then sure. what your role is with them. So AMT is the Association for Manufacturing Technology, and we produce the show IMTS, the International Manufacturing Technology Show. And so my role is really all things IMTS. I am the Senior Director for Operations and Marketing, which means I get to touch literally every single piece of IMTS. So Holy cow, I cannot imagine that. If you've never been to IMTS, it is a massive show. Um, I've been going since 90. 92, I believe, was my first show. I've been working the show since 94, um, nice. working for, uh, you know, OEM machine tool builders. So um, I've been going for a long time. And um, I talked to a, a gentleman, a friend of mine here in the industry that was on a, a recent podcast and said, you know, going to IMTS on the builder side or, or the worker side of it, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a family reunion. You know, you go back and you see all your friends with other machine companies and um, you know, nobody tends to leave this industry. They may leave a company, but they stay in the industry and you see them two years later again at IMTS. It's true. It's actually the same on the visitor side. So a few years ago we had where dreamers and doers connect. So for 20, that was our, our slogan in our campaign. And a lot of the visitors said, you know, they take vacation and they come to IMTS. Like that's, they just love it. It's kind of like Disney World for them. And so it's the same. And they've, they've, we've had that more than once. People say it's a family reunion and it's fun. And yeah. we, we all are missing it this year. That's for sure. Right. Yeah. How long have you been connected with IMTS? Then? So I actually, my first IMTS was 1996. So okay. not too far behind you. Yeah. And I worked in, I worked in the trade show industry in the registration company. And so I started at AMT in 2004, where I really took shape and hold of all aspects of the event. So, okay, it's gotten bigger every year. It has, right? it so, has a little bit more complex every year, and yeah. a little bit, definitely a lot better every every cycle. And so, I know for us, for Akuma, we start usually about a year to 18 months in advance mm -hmm. of of the move-in date, if you will. You know, so you basically wrap up one IMTS. You have a few months to kind of take a breather, and then all of a sudden, all the meetings start back up. All right, yep. IMTS planning. What machines are we taking? What demos are we doing? What's the booth structure going to look like? I mean, it's, it's a massive focus for the industry. It is. But it what is. a great opportunity for customers to learn, right? I'm a, a big believer in education, and you get educated by your exposure a lot of times. So. And that's exactly right. And so IMTS is definitely a place, and, and we heard it all through, I, I'm going to say the COVID cycle. So since mm -hmm. March of when we were trying to determine what we could do and what we couldn't do that was safe for the community, many, many people were asking us, we need this for our business. We need IMTS. Please don't cancel. Like this is what we, we come to learn. We come to see wh who the exhibitors are and what they're bringing in the technologies and how everything happens. So mm -hmm. it has definitely been a constant conversation on our end from the visitor aspect since March. And so we knew in June when we canceled that we did not have a choice but to bring the audience from both sides, the visitors and exhibitors, and the community something to work towards and something to be part of we couldn't just let a cycle go. We had right. to bring them something to learn. And that was our fear, you know, early on when, when you could kind of see it coming, you knew yeah. there's no way we're going to have hundreds of thousands of people together in, in this facility. So um, I guess tell us a little bit about how has IMTS evolved, um, sure. even from the early days to now the, the COVID kind of cycle that we're in at the moment. Sure. So again, I started in 2004 and so uh, at AMT. And so my very first IMTS was the year that we went from the, we call it the three inch binder of an e-kit that yeah. we mailed out to all exhibitors to a disc okay. that, we, that we mailed to exhibitors. And so that literally threw the industry for a loop. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? And so, and so now we've come from that to a world of where digital technology is is key and, and the norm. And so IMTS is definitely the place where digital manufacturing is where you need to come learn it and 
be part of it because if your shop is not in a digital world, you're not going to be around for in the next five to ten years. Sure. I, we truly, I truly believe that. And so where do you need to learn that stuff? You need to learn it from the exhibitors. You need to learn it from the experts. You need to be able to learn it from your peers. And what, how can you solve problems? And so those are the three things we focus on with a physical event. Mm -hmm. So now we're in COVID. And so those are the three things we focus on now in a digital event and a digital platform. And so people need to be able to connect with their partners. They need to be able to see what's going on and you know, if I'm a job shop owner, I need to talk to other job shop owners and I need to be able to find out, you know, I've got this problem. I don't know how to solve it. And how did you solve it? And what are you doing? And what are ideas? They need to be able to go to exhibitors and see what is the new technology you're bringing? What is the new processes? How can you help my business? And they need to be able to get education from experts and conferences and webinars and different pieces. So those are the things that we are bringing to the table. Okay. And we're calling it this year, we're calling it IMTS spark. So it's exciting. It actually kind of soft launched, if you will, visitors are able to see what exhibitors are doing and who the exhibitors are. And they're able to go in and register. Now they can see, add things to their, what we're calling the my spark planner when you know what are different conferences that they can see and what's going on and they'll be just kind of a sneak peek and sessions and conferences and live demos that exhibitors will be doing will launch and ignite okay. spark will ignite as we say on september 21st of 2020 so and it's just like imts you can't just go into one hall and see everything in one day right so we understand people's business. We understand that there's a lot going on. So we've lit, made it last for six months. So mm -hmm. Spark will ex ex extinguish March 15th of okay. 2021. So they'll be on demand. I like how you say that, extinguish. So yes, you, you we, ignite the fire and then extinguish. Exactly, okay. exactly. And so there is a lot going on in that platform. And there'll be things will be recorded. There'll be a lot of on demand. There'll be a lot of self-study. So, you know... We have a very large engineer based sure. in our community, right? And so not all engineers want to collaborate. Not all <laughs> engineers want to listen to somebody else. They want to kind of do their own research. And so there'll be a deep dive study platform within Spark. And so they'll be able to kind of dig down the rabbit holes they want and get answers that they need to. Okay. So. so how does Spark work? Let's say I'm I'm a job shop owner and I'm wanting to attend it. Sure. How do I get started? So what you want to do first is go to imts.com forward slash spark. Okay. Okay. And then once you're there, you'll be able to click a register button or a my spark planner button. And that'll take you to where you, if you've already registered and created a planner, you can log in and see everything or you you go ahead and register. You give just a few pieces of information and then register and you can every it's free. Okay. And so you can go in and you can see different things. You can go explore the exhibitors and some exhibitors have giveaways and some exhibitors will have technical sessions and some exhibitors will have um, live demos and you'll be able to add those all to your planner, which is kind of like the planner is your electronic agenda, if you will. And so anything that you have liked and added will always be there and it'll give you reminders if you want that says hey you signed up for this session go and spark and, and check it out and hmm. so there okay. are just different pieces of the planner that you'll be able to do right now all right excellent yeah um touch on network what's the difference i've heard of imts spark mm -hmm. and then imts network what's the so, sure, differentiation absolutely. between those so imts network will be September 14th to 18th. It is a live broadcast. So there will be, we're, we're setting it up similar to the Today Show. And it's not the Today Show, so I don't want to get, uh, you know. <laughs> but but we're, we, we're, we're modeling after that. So there'll okay. be some news in the morning mm -hmm. and it's all manufacturing technology. So there'll be news in the morning. There'll be uh, two hosts. Jules McGuire will be in our AMT offices in McLean, Virginia. Okay. And Peter Eelman, who many of the audience know will be in our Chicago, will be in Chicago in a facility in different facilities around Chicago, and so there will be a dual hosting site. We will have 
something called Zoom Across America. So if anyone listening to this podcast wants kind of 15 seconds of fame, they can go to our website now, imts.com for slash network, and click on Zoom Across America and apply to be on it. And it's kind of 15 second interview with people. But Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so it's fun. So it's a four hour broadcast. There will be some live intermixed and then there are some recorded stories. Okay. So the difference with Spark and Network is Spark is solution answers. Network is human stories in the manufacturing industry. Um, similar to if you want to see what's going going on, there are some lots of episodes of Outside the Shop, and there's things that have never been seen before. Hmm. So let's start with Outside the Shop as one of the episodes, and that is anything that you wouldn't find in a traditional job shop or a traditional manufacturing plant. There are things in that the manufacturing community is doing that are not the norm. We have profiles in manufacturing, which is you take an icon in the industry and we do a story on them and oh, what no they're kidding. doing and how they're doing and how they either um, have made it in the industry, how they got here, mm -hmm. some challenges they faced and overcome them. We have Manufacturing Explorers, which is the traditional shop. You, we have explorers that go into the shop, find out what's going on and all the cool technologies going on. And that's just three out of the 15. So anyone can go right now to, again, imts.com forward slash network and see all the shows that are happening. And again, this broadcast is free now. So it'll give a little teaser videos of the different shows. And when the broadcast happens... September 14 to 18, it'll be live and streamed. Okay. How long do the shows last? I apologize if you no, said that. I missed no, no worries. So the entire show itself, the broadcast itself is four hours and then it'll be replayed. Each okay. show realistically is anywhere from, um, well, we have like two minute videos. They're called Tech Peaks and those are just little snippets of technology going on to 15 minute shows. But the hmm. average is about five to seven. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. So. Yeah. You don't have to plan your day away to try to catch one of those. It, that's exactly right. Yeah. That is exactly right. And they're all, they're also be on demand. Like once they're launched, they will be on demand that people can go back and see them. So. Okay. I think it's such a great platform that you guys have worked through. Um, I, I truly believe the world as we know it has changed. Um, you know, uh, the, the COVID has ushered in the use of technology that's been around a long time that some people gravitated to, some didn't. Uh, I'm guilty. I'm one that did not. Uh, I, I was never a big fan of using Zoom or Skype or, or things like that. Now I'm, you know, I live on Teams for the most part. You Absolutely. know, our whole corporation is tied together with Microsoft Teams, and you know, in a click of a button, I'm talking to people in in Germany, Japan, Switzerland, and right here in Charlotte. Um, you know, in a, in a snap. So I'm really uh, impressed how you can keep the company operating and, and people communicating in that team environment moving forward in this, in this new virtual space. Um, and I think even when COVID subsides, however, I'm not going to get into that side of it, but as the world changes again to a non COVID focused era, um, I think there's going to be a lot of people that realize we're able to maintain the company. We're able to maintain business and sales and, revenue and we didn't have to send a lot of people traveling so i think the, the whole virtual environment is going to be something that um is going to be around for you know the foreseeable future for sure i 100 percent agree with you i i will i do and i will say that people as they did before but even more so will be cognizant as to where they go and what they do mm -hmm. so i think that if people are going to make the effort, they're really going to want to be in different places. Yeah. Um, and I can honestly say, and I, I mean, I'm biased, no question about it. I can honestly say from the conversations I've had, I'm confident people are going to be coming to IMTS 2022. Mm -hmm. People want it, they're craving it. And just like you said, it's a family reunion. I think yeah. people are gonna be excited to see other people, but I don't disagree with you. They're going, people understand that this is a, an environment that works. And mm -hmm. while it doesn't work the same, it still works. So how can we shift our focus to, to being more digital? And again, to, just like digital manufacturing, and, and I said it at the beginning of the podcast and I still mean it, that if people don't, 
don't think in a digital space with their shops and how they can produce things digitally and at least have digital as part of their operations, Yeah, I don't think they're going to be around much longer. All right. I think it's uh, a unique thing to think about who can attend IMTS Spark this year. So in years past, I, I know I've worked with with teams and, and had people, you know, within my own uh, reporting structure that if you've got a team of 10 people mm-hmm. and you're going to send two or three to IMTS, somebody's going to get their feelings hurt, right? right? There's Everybody wants to go. Everybody wants to be part of it. And, well, you two or three, you, you drew the, the long straw, you get to go. The rest of you are staying home. That's not the case this year, right? Everybody can log in. Everybody can see it. Everybody can exactly can see right. what's going on and be part of the discussion. So That's exactly right. And we set it up that way by design just for those very reasons. And we set it up that it was free for everybody for those exact reasons so mm-hmm. that everybody could come and be part of the discussion because you never know what you're going to learn from anybody that gets to come and gets to see it and, and who. So... I'm, we're pretty excited about it. We're excited to bring it to the industry, and we're really excited to see the industry's reaction to it. Right. So, so far, there's so much interest out there, so we're pretty pretty excited. Yeah, excellent. I think it's interesting to, to think about um, new technologies that people can learn. Mm-hmm. So if you're a guy that hasn't been to IMTS before or kind of stuck in that one role, one position. Uh, me and uh, Nick Golner was uh, just here. We did a, a podcast with Nick, and he talked about how you know he sees more and more companies. People get promotions in companies, not because they work to a certain level or ask for a promotion. It's because they saw there's a role, there's a need in the company, yeah. and they just went and did it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, that becomes part of their role in their job. And I think about you know all these young, talented people coming out of school or been in the industry for their first three to five years there could be new technologies they see here Mm -hmm. that could literally launch careers uh, and change their their path in life based on learning something new learning a new skill set understanding new trends and and where manufacturing is going and being able to bring that value to their company that they might not have had access to before yeah you know it's interesting i have a 15 year old Mm -hmm. so i have three children my oldest is 15 and when she was little I read an article that said about 60,000 60, of the jobs when she's ready to go into the world are not created yet. And I can imagine that today that number would expand with the digital speed and technology speed that mm-hmm. we've come. I just thought that was astounding to me. And so you're right. And going back to the travel, a lot of her generation and the generation before her want a good life balance. I mean, you know, I'm I'm generation X and we don't necessarily do the best at the life balance, yeah. right? And so <laughs> the the generations behind me are definitely demanding it more. So I think I think this is actually with all the negatives COVID has had, I think it's actually allowed us to take a pause and allowed us to see where we can go in the future and what the future could look like and make it better. Right. Yep. Yeah. Good point. What what's the future look like? What do you see? You know, you mentioned 2022. Um, do you foresee we're still going to have an IMTS Spark platform of some sort combined with the physical location? Sure. So right now, and and we're doing it within IMTS as well. So one within I'm sorry within IMTS Spark as well. So mm-hmm. we are going to you know see what clicks, see what people's needs are, see what happens. You know, we are very good at being agile. I have a great team, right? They're very good at being agile and fit the needs of the industry. If we set out a, an agenda that we find that the visitor and the audience don't need, mm-hmm. we will switch. We'll switch what content we use and we'll make sure that we get to what they need. A good example is, you know, back in March, we knew supply chain was immediately an issue. So we switched to being an, a supply chain reference and how people can come and see where they can do, what they can do, how they can do, and as far as that goes. And we'll do the same within Spark. So I'm going to say we're going to be listening. I can't tell you today if Spark will be part of IMTS 2022. It really will depend if the need is still there and if people still want it. Okay, excellent. Well, I really appreciate you joining us today. Thank appreciate you all the knowledge me. you brought us, and uh, we're looking forward to participating in IMTS Spark. 
um, as well as IMTS Network. You know, that's uh, I think from an Akuma standpoint, uh, we're we're a member of the, the the highest package, if you will. So we're gonna right. have a lot of really good content out there and and some really good. Uh, presentations and opportunities to do some live events and, and things of that nature. So we're really looking forward to it and appreciate the opportunity. Well, thank you for having me. And I actually looked at your showroom today and your marketing team has done a great job. So They're on top of it. Everyone should go out and check the Akuma showroom. So thank, thank you. you for having, thank you for being part of it. And thank you for having me here. All right. So Michelle, tell us one more time um, for people listening, how do they participate in IMTS Spark and IMTS Network? Sure. So if anyone goes to IMTS.com, they'll be able to do a path of three. You can go check out IMTS Spark where you can register and create your Spark Planner. You can go to Network where you'll be able to see the shows and what's happening and the times that they're going to be broadcast September 14th through the 18th. Okay. And you can go see IMTS 2022 and see everything that's going to happen with the physical event in 2022. And then on that page, there's a contact us page, and that'll give our entire staff as to who can help in what venue that you need. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate your time and all the knowledge you brought us, and uh, we're really looking forward to participating, being part of IMTS Spark and Network. And thank you again for having us. We all appreciate right. it a lot. So thank you again for joining this episode of Shop Matters. Again, I was your host, Wade Anderson. If you have any thoughts or questions, ideas for future podcasts, please feel free to reach out to us at www.okuma.com forward slash shop dash matters. Till next time. <laughs>